Do you recognize two of these people? Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, good morning. Uh, morning. Thank you all for coming, especially family and, and, and friends of, of Bob. Even I, I see a few old timers from the comics too here. Well, it's my privilege today to recognize Bob Chase for all that he has done for our great city. Bob's professionalism, character, humility, and his love for his family and the Comets are all attributes that make him a unique and special person in our community. During Bob's extended career with the Comets, he has seen and called 12 regular season titles, nine league championships, and more than 4,500 Comet games. In 2012, Bob was named the recipient of the prestigious Lester Patrick Award, which is presented by the NHL and U.S. Hockey to honor one's contribution to ice hockey in the United States. Last year, Bob completed his 60th season radio rinkside and is looking forward to his 61st season. Today, Bob is receiving the Key to the Fort Award from me. The Key to the Fort goes to individuals who have made an extraordinary com commitment to the community through a lifetime of stewardship and involvement. The key is a hand-forged replica of the iron key that was used at the fort in the days of Anthony Wayne. This is just the third key that I presented since being mayor. It's great to see Bob and so many people here who care about him. Thanks to everyone who has made today possible. Bob. And now it's where it belongs. <laughs> thank you, everybody. Uh, to the media, thank you so much. You've done so much to make this home for me. And uh, you never know what's next. And this was a case where the last several weeks after I had a call from the mayor's office saying that he wanted to see me here on the 9th, I didn't know whether I was going into the woodshed or what was <laughs> But you know, it, it was kind of a crazy situation because you, you think about things over the years, things that have happened, what is next. I didn't know what this was going to be until just this very moment. It was a total surprise. But little things that linger on, uh, like at home, our prized red maple in the front yard is dying. And I'm going, oh, geez, we had that for years. What are we going to do? We have to dig it up. We've got to put something in there. And I thought about that a little bit. And then, of course, with the mayor calling, I've been thinking and thinking, wondering what in the world is this going to all be about? Last night I had a dream. And it's amazing how all this meshes together. There's that maple tree in my front yard, it's gone. In my dreams there was a knock on the door. I went to the door and these two people were there with city uh, work uniforms on and I said, hi, can I help you? And they said, yes, Bob, um, where, where do you want this? And I said, where do I want what? And they pointed over in the driveway, and there in a big city truck was the statue of Matt Anthony Wayne. We won't go there. I jumped out of bed and went out to the front door, but there was nothing. And then the only other crisis I have, Murph and I came over, and all I could think of was get here, park, do the whole thing, and I noticed the parking meters on there. Yeah. I didn't bring any money, so I hope I know somebody. <laughs> uh, the honor is incredible. Uh, you know, and I, I'm kind of used to getting honored, but they just get bigger and better and more dear and more meaningful. And the ones you come home to are the big ones. And you people are the big people in my life. Fort Wayne is. Mom's the girl. <laughs> she holds she holds the key. <laughs> Mary, thank you so much. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. Bob has been in radio so long, 
I think you came to Wolwa in 1952, right, Bobby? 53, Chevy. I'm not that old. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm looking over you. And this is my extended family. <laughs> <laughs> and am I ever extended? Well, <laughs>